Which one of these does not belong? All right, everybody, welcome back to Flour, Eggs, and Yeast. I'm Cam, you're here to buzz with your cuz, and today we're actually going to do a little bit of a challenge. It's a lunch challenge. I know that sometimes you go out and like, do you want chips and a drink? And the answer for me is always yes, right? We always want the chips and the drink. But today um, we're gonna do the flaming hot challenge. So I have some flaming hot Mountain Dew. Usually I pour this into a glass so you can see the color, but yeah, this is, a, this is gonna be an interesting one, I'm sure. We also have the original, the chips and the drink, right? Cheetos, flaming hot. But what's our entree? What are we going to have for lunch? What makes this a flaming hot challenge? Cheetos, flaming hot, Mac and cheese. Look at that. That is a good, that is a good time. So uh, this is going to be uh, fairly interesting. I know individually these items are all things, well, two out of the three items are things that I think like mentally I'm all in, right? I love spicy mac and cheese, like a Chipotle mac and cheese. So this makes sense. Cheetos. Sp these things have been around for a long time. This makes sense. Which one of these does not belong? Maybe this. Mountain Dew. Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. I, I can't wait to try this. I mean, it's got the little devil on there. It has a, a, a lime and it says blast to heat and citrus. So we only know Mountain Dew is a citrus based drink. So uh, this, uh, this should be interesting. Now, before we get started, this doesn't seem like a healthy meal in any way, shape, or form, right? So uh, I did some quick math. The trio is be 1,095 calories, 167.5 carbohydrates, and a svelte 42 grams of fat. For this, this, and this. So uh, this is <laughs> roughly half your day's worth of calories, but this is flour, eggs, and yeast, and we like to do it big, sometimes too big for our own good. Let's start with this. Let's start with the wild card. 280 calories, 74 carbs in here, and uh, 91 milligrams of caffeine. So this will get you rolling. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. It almost tastes like um, like a spicy sweet tart because it has that sweetness. We know there's a ton of sugar in here. It has the citrus. It gives it kind of like a sour note, and it's a very light, very light warmth uh, from the spice. This is surprising. I thought I was going to hate this, but I don't. I, uh, I could definitely say that if you like spicy beverages, this is not bad. You're not going to find many other spicy sodas in the, you know, in the 7-Eleven or wherever you get your bottled to go packaging, but uh, well played Mountain Dew and, and Cheetos. Well played. Uh, I wouldn't say that you're going to sit down and drink this with every meal, but I think it's really appropriate for what we're doing here today. So, let's go ahead and open these up. I mean, these are actually the heavy hitter of the lunch. So it's 595 calories in this bag. It is a, uh, considered a snack at three and a quarter ounces, not a heck of a lot. Um, we're looking at 52 and a half carbohydrates. And um, it's actually the, the heavy hitter in the fat component too at 38.5. But uh, let's get one of these tried and true bad boys. Mm. Just as good as they've always been. Oh yeah. Mm. You know, you can connect with these guys on Instagram, at Cheetos, or um, Facebook, they have a slash Cheetos. Yeah, these are actually kind of addictive. Mmm. Got my hands on some of those flaming hot seasoning. But uh, let's get to this guy. Let's open this up. This is our Cheetos mac and cheese. Single serve. 
open. Must be our cheese packet here. Oh, okay. We have a slightly different shape there. You can see the line, so we're gonna fill it up with water to the line. All right, so we got that sitting in there. Pretty easy, pretty easy to do so far. Any chef could do this. All right, so we're gonna microwave it uncovered on high for three minutes. Do not drain. You will need this liquid to make the sauce. <laughs> All right, so this is really hot. That's the water they're talking about. You don't want to dump that out. Heat it for the sauce. Yep. Oh yeah, that'll stain your fingers. You have to smell this stuff. It, it smells exactly like a ground up bag of Cheetos. Nacho cheese, I smell a lot of cheese. All right, folks, so you can see just how red that is. Be careful not to spill it. Well, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be pushing this thing over to videotape yourself unless you're gonna take this challenge also. Stir it up, it's a little liquidy. I may have put a little bit too much water in there. Look at that. I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if I'm excited to eat this or afraid to eat it, but here we go. This is why it's a challenge. Hmm. I'll tell you, this is a lot more spicy than the other items. This is definitely delivering on the flaming hot portion. Is this Restaurant quality mac and cheese? No. I feel like I like the elbows a little bit better than these. You'd see. But it's spicy. So putting it all together, flaming hot mac and cheese, washed down by flaming hot Mountain Dew. Now it's starting to like clear my nose a little bit. Yikes. Not super spicy though, it's weird. Yeah, all right, we got it. I mean, that is the Flaming Hot Challenge. The irony is the Flaming Hot Mac and Cheese kind of leveled out the soda, which leveled out the chips, the Cheetos Crunchy Flaming Hots. So individually, I think that these really stand alone well. Um, and you could eat them all together as we showed here today. If you like spicy food, um, it's good. This is definitely not something we're gonna do ever again, especially at, at a thousand plus calories. But um, yeah, let's see what you think. Why don't you take the Flaming Hot Challenge, get yourself the mac and cheese, the crunchy chips, and grab hold of uh, some Flaming Hot Mountain Dew and. Catch a buzz with your cuz. Don't forget to comment below, hit the thumbs up and share this video. It really helps us a lot. And uh, we went out of our way to do some, <laughs> to abuse ourselves, you know, <laughs> physically and mentally with this combo. Um, but overall, I'm not mad. I'm glad we did it. I hope you do it too. Let us know if you're going to. And uh, don't forget to follow us here. You know, uh, we're gonna be doing a lot more things like this putting it all together. Uh, we want to take you along on that journey. We're going to take it anyway, but it's be pretty nice to have some friends come along with us, maybe even some family. And uh, that's it. That is your buzz with your cuz. Till next time.